So welcome to this video of uh, me shooting photos with the Rico GR3 Street Edition in Antwerp. I am here at the roundabout and there's a lot of nice buildings around me. And I will take you around this trip to Antwerp from Antwerp Berkem to the location I need to be. And I hope you enjoy this video. That's it. So I already have three pictures taken in the street there. So I will show them now. And uh, let's move on. Look at this street, mate. They even have a small statue in front of their house. What a big house, mate. <laughs> Crazy. <laughs> oh, well, I really like the entrance there. Gonna take a picture of it. I want the fence in the middle, so it's like going line, but I want it straighter. Yes, that must be a must, must be it. Look at this house. What a giant building. <laughs> Some one day people were able to buy this shit, but now. I'm totally not able to buy this, but I hope this YouTube channel gets more views, so I am able to buy it. <laughs> Would be amazing, right? <laughs> it's cool. The yellow tiles with the yellow car and the lines leading in. Really works well. I need to get closer to the car so the car gets more of the attention. I want this. Not really sure about these pictures. It's really hard to. <laughs> Control the camera and also control the camera of my phone. But I think I really like them way further. Let's continue. Nice house is here. So I found this terrace and I think if you look here there's like a puddle. And I don't know. It's nothing really interesting. Except for like No, nothing special. It's a very busy street here where the terrace is there. But, yeah. I mean, a lot of cars and big buildings. And I think the 28 millimeters of the Drico GR is like perfect for this because you can get really close to a building and still get enough of the building in it. I also have a Ricoh GR3X, sorry for the bus next to me, and the Ricoh GR3X is good for, for like portraits and I use it a lot for also street photography which we'll make a video of later. I hope I'm, yes, boom up says I'm wrong, right? But this one is, yeah, it's great for the 28mm, I really like it, but I also like the 40 I think the 40 gets more of a distance, like you can get more blurry backgrounds, but that's really it. I really like the macro function on this as well, but I will make a video of landscape and macro photography a part of this one. So I hope you all look at that as well. So as I was walking, I came past this Mercedes. I think I'm looking in the front. But I really like it because of the colors of the house. So I'm gonna try and make, so, let's see, nah. 
think with a little bit of editing <laughs> it can get better. <laughs> I'm already in a bowling out of a bowling loco because of a lot of foreign people living here but it's a really nice neighbor but, and I hope you heard Google Maps and a lot of cars too many cars are in my opinion and they, what can I do about it? nothing so and for the people wondering how I keep dust off my sensor I always put it in these small sacks that I bought from Hemera you can, I bought it in media mallet but you can buy it wherever you want but in the in the in the thing itself in the sack itself there is no fabric which collects dust or anything it's really like dust proof which is nice and it still is super small and fits in my pack in my bag and even I can hang it on my backpack with these straps on it so That's how I protect my Rico GR3 because it started raining now. And while I'm walking through the streets, I came across this small thing. It will be visible in 3, 2, 1. It's like a kid seat that they dumped. And then they sit in it flyer, reported the parquette, but then they put it there green washing stuff in it it's a very funny image but I will not take a picture of it because I think it's not interesting enough to take a picture of it but I want to show you how things look in Antwerp <laughs> some of these houses in Antwerp are really like destroyed through time because they look amazing by it now in a bad shape next to a church and some beauty purple flowers which look pink on my screen they're more like this color <laughs> they're more purple than pink so yeah Antwerp is nice to walk around but not the center because it's too touristy this is out of the center I need to make sure that I follow the good route to my destination Oh, see a door open. Maybe something interesting to shoot. It's uh, right in the midday. And I see this, and it's why it's a bit busier in Antwerp because a lot of people from school are coming out. And I see this building, and I'm already like interested in how I can photograph this. So I'm gonna check it's even possible to make a nice picture out of this I don't think so it's a cool spot but not useful at all and I would be in the round but this is cool This one is Yeah, maybe It's cool that there's a chair in the back I can now place the roofs next to each other. This one could be cool, except for the clouds being rubbish. But uh. now I am at Antwerp Central and also, there's a big 
uh, thing, I don't know how to call it in English, in front of me, but this is one of the most beautiful stations in the world. Well, let's go in. Let's see. This is crazy. Now I need to take a train to home because this is the end. I would say bye and subscribe so you miss out, so you don't miss out on anything. And I'll see you later. I'm trying to catch the train. Bye.